Hello and welcome. I'm Clueless Mike and you're watching Modeling for Advantage. So shall we see what Santa Kaiser has bought me for Christmas today? We have another 40k combat patrol and which one is it? Black Templars. Let's crack this thing open and see what lovely plastic goodness is inside. Okay, in we go. So it says on the front, there are 17 miniatures in here. Uh, Space Marines as usual, not the highest model count. So not the most models you can get in one of these, but they're usually quite big and bulky. So let's get that out there and have those there. So. As always, the manual, we're not going to spend very long on here. You've seen these before, full colour, tell you all your options, all your builds. They're interesting things like where not to magnetise up here so you can spin around parts, stuff like that. And the useless stat blocks at the back, no use to anyone. We can do without those in there. Bases. Looks like we've got some 32mm bases. And interestingly enough, we've got some smaller ones, although... My eyes may deceive me, but these don't look like 25s. I'm guessing these are the 28mm bases that the Sister of Battle come on. I might even... Oh, look, I'm sitting at my desk or my wife's desk more accurately. Let's have a quick measure across there. Oh, no, they are 25s. They looked smaller to me. Obviously, age catching up with me there. And what have we here? This is the lovely plastic base that an impulsor comes on. Actually really good. It lifts the impulsor up, it's nicely hidden away at the bottom, and you can also spin it different ways to give your impulsor or other hover vehicle from the new Primaris range a nice little angle that it can be on. Okay, we've seen one of these before. This is the impulsor sprue um, in here. I mean, it's a nice packed sprue, makes a really interesting looking vehicle. It's got quite a few options. You get options for a big gun array on top, a missile array on top, a shield dome on top. Um, loads of cool stuff there. Um, it's interesting they pack it in here because the Impulsor's a kit similar to the old Rhino kit. If you were looking to buy an Impulsor, you wouldn't actually go out and buy an Impulsor kit because you could buy the new Gladiator kit, which is the tank variant, which comes with both of these sprues plus a whole additional sprue for about five quid extra. So sticking it in boxes like this, that's a reasonable way to get an Impulsor. You might be able to find the uh, parts for the Gladiator on eBay or somewhere. That's what I did with mine, um, just to be able to turn it into the tank if you wished. Uh, but we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. We've all seen an Impulsor before. That's not what we're here for. So let's go on to this one here. So this is the Primaris Marshall. Uh, basically a captain from all, for all intents and purposes, but a really cool looking one. Um, he's actually got a few options here on this sprue if we look. So there's a sword down here, there's an axe there. Uh, it looks like he's got a plasma pistol, but he's also, there's a combi flamer there, which is interesting. First combi weapon I've seen on a Primaris model. Um, it looks like he's got a couple of head options, or well, we've got helmeted head and unhelmeted head. Always nice to see because some people despise unhelmeted heads and some people like having all their characters without helmets on to denote the difference. Um, this is a really dynamic looking model. Okay, you can change weapons slightly, but you wouldn't want two in your army because the actual static pose or the actual pose, it's not actually a static pose, the actual pose is unvariable. You can't swap that around at all other than with major cutting. But he's got a really nice cloak, really cool backpack stuff. The Black Templars are all about ornamentation on their armour. You'll see his torso is robed, um, his axes and sword are all chained to his wrist because that's part of their law where all their weapons are chained to them. So it looks really cool. Uh, so that's him there. What is this next one? So this, I believe, is the Black Templar upgrade sprue. I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to come back to that at the end of the video. So next up, what is this one? Or oh, hard to identify, this one looks like the Primaris Intercessor Sprue. Again, this is one we have seen before. It's five Marines on a sprue with all the options a Primaris Intercessor can have. So you see you've got, um, they all come with bolt guns, but you change the type of bolt gun by sticking a different scope and ammo section, ammo clip onto them. Um, it's got things like it's got loads of pouches, lots of pistols. Um, it's got various other 
weapon options kind of like it's got a handheld pistol there there'll be a grenade launcher there's a knife some of these aren't really represented on the unit on the table you don't really do a lot with them they're a bolter armed unit um you can give melee weapons to the sergeant but i don't think this kit really comes with much in the way of melee weapons which is a bit of a pity can't see many on there at all other than said knife um, but it's a reasonable kit. It's your bulk standard intercessor kit. You can jazz it up with weapons from um, Vanguard veteran kits, various things like that. But this just comes with all your base options, but it's just similar to the Impulsor. It's just a, a bulk standard kit. And they generally give away at least five intercessors in every Marine start collecting or combat patrol. So most people have lots and lots of them. Okay, this is a much more interesting kit. So this is the Neophytes and um, Sword Brethren Leader, and I'm trying to remember exactly what they call it. Let's see what they call them on the box, because they may have changed it. So Primaris Crusader Squad, that's what it's called, and then you have Neophytes and such inside it. So basically it's a squad of five Primaris Space Marines and a squad of five Scouts meshed together. Anyway, take a 10. Um, you've always been able to do this previously, where you kind of like used to take tactical marine equivalents and old scouts um, in a non primary school shader squad. But this is the new version. It's got a load of stuff on this kit, loads of characterful bits. So I think this one's mainly all the primary stuff. You see, you've got similar chained sword axes. Um, the Primaris Marines can take chain swords, and there's lots in here, and they are chunky chain swords as well. These look bigger than standard ones that I've seen before and they look really nice actually. Lots of detail on those. Um, the models are a bit more posed than your standard intercessors. Some are running, they've got a few robes on them which really adds to the look. Um, you see you've got loads of shoulder pads in here. Um, looking to see what different helmet options we've got. So lots of helmeted heads but I suspect there are some, yeah, there's an unhelmeted there and one down there as well. Um, there's also little bits like there's a little kind of like sensor there you can add to the backpack of somebody. Um, lots of little bits you can add just to add a bit more character to units. That's kind of what the Black Templar units do. They have a load more character than just a bog standard ultramarine in his standard armour. Um, this one comes also some melee weapons for the sergeant, or I believe you can take a sword brethren sergeant. So it's got a power fist there, power axe, power sword. Um, then it's got this here, if we can see. This is their special flamer. It's basically a bigger flamer with better range, I believe, um, or it might be better AP. It's just a, a better flamer. Um, nice cloak here to stick on your uh, sword brethren leader, but that cloak also looks like it could double up because it's got interesting join points. It's just got two join points at the top. You could probably stick that on any marine character, so that is a uh, well sought after bit if you're trying to custom make your own character model. Um, I suspect that could be made to fit most things. There's, what's this here? There's a really cool sheathed sword here, which I think looks really nice. Can stick that across the backpack of somebody. That'd look really cool. Again, nice for a character model to have. And that is that sprue. So we move on to the next one. So this one looks like, and I'm hoping it isn't, but it looks like it might be a carbon copy of the first one. Let's see if we can match them up. We'll go by the cloak. That is disappointing. Hate it when they do that. Two of the exact same sprue there. So you must be able to build the um, uh, the initiates from here, the primary scouts on this sprue. They don't look hugely different, but if we look closely, that foot there doesn't look as heavily armoured as that foot there. So that's obviously a scout one. Ah, oh, that is disappointing that you're going to be making one squad, but they're going to look the same quite often on there that is that is not so good i don't like that i don't think they're mono pose uh, i say that looking at these bits they're not like the old space marines where you have arms and legs and such that spin around these do look like they would only go in one place the arms don't look as bad um so you could mix and match the arms not a bad thing because there's loads of cool options on there but I don't like the fact that both sprues are the same, meaning that certainly your leg and torso options are going to look very similar. Last off, we move to the um, Primaris um, Black Templar upgrade sprue, and this has a load of cool stuff on it. Um, it's designed so you can represent various of the relics that come um, in the Crusade um, portion of the Black Templar Codex. So you've got kind of special swords, and um, I believe there's a holy hand grenade on here. Yeah, there it is. 
special holy hand grenade, some of the dead guy's skull. You've got this cool banner that's one of the old back banners. There's this really nice sword that mounts on top of a backpack there. There's this really badass sword on here. I love that bit there. That would be a great if you were custom making your own Judicia or something, because that's a similar style sword, but just bigger. Really nice. Uh, there's a multi-melter. This is quite important. One of the upgrades in the Black Templar Codex is that you can give multi-melters to any of your primaris vehicles, really upping their firepower. 20 extra points to stick a multi-melter on something, is that is golden. Uh, you'll also notice on here you have shotguns. Um, these are an option for the Primaris Scouts, but it doesn't come in the Primaris Scout kit. So if you're buying that separately, you would then need to buy an upgrade sprue separately to be able to give them their bolter options, which, again, not particularly clever. Um, you've got vehicle um, tarting up bits here to stick on your Impulsor, or you could obviously stick it on the other Primaris tanks as well, um, just to give them a bit of iconography. You've got loads of shoulder pads and a lot of them are the more Baroque style um, ones that kind of uh, hark back to the older style armors. You've got the ones with the armor studs there. You've got the ones with kind of like the, um, I don't know what that is actually called, kind of like the raised edging, the shielding around that. Uh, so loads of cool bits on this. This would be a, a great sprue to have to kind of like make your models look prettier, look more interesting, look a bit more diverse. And that's what it's there for. It's so you can turn your intercessors into something different. So you can really mix and match a bit. But again, it's annoying that that sprue there doesn't come with a load of these bits built in. So that's those. Lastly, we have the giant base for the Impulsor. Not a big fan of vehicles on bases, but I suppose that's the old style player in me. We have two great big bases here. This is a 40 mil. One of them is obviously for the Marshal. I'm not sure what the other one's for. My best bet would be that the Sword Brevin leader you can make out of the Crusader squad comes on a bigger base. I mean, their new basing um, kind of like plan is, is hard to fathom at the best of times. That's my best bet is if you make the uh, better sergeant in the Crusader squad, you stick him on a bigger base. Who knows? And then lastly in here is the Black Templar um, transfers. Transfers are great if you like them. There's some really, really tiny bits on here. I mean, I'm hoping you can pick those up there, but they are absolutely minute. Uh, but there's all kinds of kind of heraldry and stuff, and Black Templars are a lot about the heraldry. There's these interesting ones here. There are chains, so they'd be quite nice on vehicles. You've got all kinds of options for the Black Templar symbol up here to denote different companies and things. Um, so pretty good upgrades through um, a pretty good uh, transfer sheet. Although I would say that there's not a huge variety of different symbols on there. They're more, I mean, all of that section, all of this section are all just the Black Templar symbol in slightly different colours and sizes, which isn't that interesting. I really like these shields down here. Um, there's little weapons down here, axes and swords and things. And there's some, oh, there's even more of a tiny, tiny, those little tiny ones are actually the Black Templar symbol again. So not the most interesting uh, transfer sheet. Is this good value for money? I'm not sure. Um, you don't really need the Impulsor and the Intercessor because you've probably got those before. If you were starting to collect Black Templars, um, unfortunately, the Crusader squad isn't actually that good. You're probably not wanting intercessors. You probably want to sort intercessors or incursors in your army for troops. Um, the marshal, cool as he looks, you probably don't need one of those because you're going to be taking Grand Marshal Helbrecht or you're going to be taking the Emperor's Champion or you're going to be taking a chaplain as your HQ choices. Um, so I'm not sure this is the best starter for Black Templar players. And the problem is that the stuff in there is so key to Black Templars, all the iconography and stuff on them, that I'm not sure people of other chapters will find much use in there either. Um, so, couldn't say it was the best buy. There are some nice models in there. A load of those Crusader bits look really cool. Um, you could mix them into another chapter a little bit. I mean, I could see using some bits in Blood Angels um, just because they're quite a salty and they've got some really nice looking weapons. But for a whole starter, like a lot of these ones, they're they don't choose the units they're putting in to go with the army. They seem to choose them of what we want to get rid of. I think they had a load of impulses lying around, so they're getting rid of some of them. I mean, intercessors again. Ugh. Nobody wants that same kit again. That would be much better if that was an old style marine with a jump pack or something to get to combat. Um, but that said, it's still good value in the sense of if you want the models in it, 
this is a lot cheaper than if you buy them individually. Uh, so it's up to you what you think of it. I certainly wouldn't be buying it for my Blood Angels, but if I was a Black Templar player and I wanted these units, why not? Thanks for watching. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.